All right, Coach, uh, congratulations on a good and exciting win. Overtime, beating Kentucky State. Uh, I guess the story of this game, uh, Andrew Crawford really came up late in the game, hit some big shots for you. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he, those shots he made was huge and uh, much needed, uh, needless to say. But that boy, he, he's been doing that all season, man. He's been playing really well for us down the stretch. We really need him. He struggled in the first half. We just told him he was rushing his shots to be patient, stay with it. The shot's going to come. You know, I had to do a better job of freeing him up in the second half, getting him some open looks. They had a really good game plan against him, trying to hug him. I'm running him off his shot, but um, we did a much better job in the second half of kind of getting him open, and he delivered. Just talk a little bit about the end of the game there. It just really got tight, really exciting. Yeah, well, um, just come out the gate. Um, we just didn't have our, our usual energy um, early in the game, so we made it a much tougher game than it should have been. Um, but down the stretch, we, we really started to ball the, um, dig down. We actually took a six-point lead, but relinquished it really quick there. Um, but credit to Kentucky State, they played a really good game offensively and defensively. But down the stretch, we made the plays. We played Benedict defense that we usually been playing lately while we've been playing on playing well in this run here. But you know, I just thought we got the stops. Um, we got out, got the ball out number one hand, made him get the ball up early to the post, dig down, made him pick it up, and you know, got got some clean rebounds for a change. And in overtime, you had a couple guys step up, uh, hit some big shots as well. Well, yeah, Kareem Ransom made a huge shot in transition. That was huge for us. Um, but you know, it was a team effort because uh, we, um, Kareem Ransom don't make that shot, we don't get that defensive stop, and we we got we had a great defensive possession before that. Got a steal, got out in transition. And, you know, I always told his guys when we get in transition, try to look for those open threes. And we looked up, and he shot it and went, and it gave us a little bit of cushion. You know, so you know, I just think um, you know, if we come out defensively and play solid like we played the last two or three minutes when we absolutely had to be down six, we'd be a really good ball club. But you know, until we get that consistent effort defensively and go after those our defensive glass and secure our defensive glass, then you know we're gonna struggle. Uh, just talk a little bit now about uh, Tuskegee coming up uh, Thursday night. Uh, Tuskegee's good. You know, um, I think they're probably one of the best teams in the West if not the best team in the West. Um, so they're going to pose a different challenge. They, they can attack us anyway. they got great guards. they got a good big inside. Um, they defend really well. So we just got to be prepared. prepared. You know, um, they're well coached. So, you know, we're going to have our uh, challenges. You know, every, every game poses different challenges. Um, and our team find a way to respond. So as long as we respond and play our type of basketball, we shouldn't have no problem. But, you know, we just got to do the things that we do well. We got to defend. We gotta get out and run, and we gotta take care of the defensive glass. And when we get opportunities to make our free throws, then we'd be fine. Let's well, talk a little bit about now be, being five and zero in the conference play. Important to stay, you know, have a good conference record, keep winning those games. Well, it's important. Um, we on that West Wing, and you know, we only play these teams once, so it's good to get wins against these teams. So if we do see them in the tournament, we know that we can beat those teams. But you know, man, with a young team, man, I'm excited about the record. I mean, to be five and zero right now, you know, and what most people call a rebuilding year. You know, I'm really excited. The guys are really starting to want to win, starting to understand how to win. So we're playing much better. And, and we got so much room to grow. It's, it's, it could get scary. We can be a really good team once it's all said and done. But we just got to keep working. I mean, offensively, we fine. Uh, like I said, we do we handle offense in the offseason. When we do our recruiting, we go recruit the best players. But defensively is what we are focus on. And um, that's championship basketball. Once we become solid defensively, consistently, every play, every day, then we're going to be fine. But I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about the 5-0. I mean, a lot of teams would love to be 5-0, and and I'm one of those guys that would love to be 5-0, and and uh, we cherish that. You know, but we got a lot of work to do. We're not satisfied. We want to try to go and get 6-0. and You know, and our, the, the toughest game that we got is our next game, and it's a tough Tuskegee game, so we just got to be ready for it. All right, well, congratulations on this win. Enjoy this win. I uh, will. I, I, I certainly will. All right, thanks.